In this video, I will consider one numerical on circular convolution. Compute the circular convolution using DFT and IDFT method for the following sequences. Here two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n is given. We supposed to calculate or compute circular convolution between these two. So we know that let y of n is equal to x1 of n x2 of n that is circular convolution between x1 of n and x2 of n is let it be y of n. So in DFT IDFT method first we supposed to compute the DFT of x1 of n that is first we have to perform DFT of the sequence x1 of n it is represented as x1 of k then we supposed to compute DFT of another sequence that is x2 of n we'll call it as say x2 of k then we supposed to multiply these two sequences the, let the resultant sequence will be y of k then we supposed to take the idft of y of k so that we'll get y of n which is circular convolution between x1 of n and x2 of n so first let me calculate x1 of k that is dft of x1 of n. So the given sequence x1 of n is equal to we have 1, 2, 3 and 1. So here dft I will calculate using matrix method that is using matrix method. DFT is calculated as follows. So here first we supposed to represent in matrix form the DFT of x1 of n is say x1 of k. So here we know that n is equal to 4. There are 4 sequences, 4 samples. I can write it as x1 of 0, x1 of 1, x1 of 2, x1 of 3 let this be the output matrix which is column matrix 4 cross 1 then we should have 4 cross 4 twiddle matrix the twiddle matrix is represented as w4 power 0 first row is second row is w4 power 0 w4 power 1 w4 power 2 w4 power 3 third row is w4 power 0 w4 power 2 w4 power 4 w4 power 6 and last row is w4 power 0 w4 power 3 w4 power 6 w4 power 9 so this is n cross n that is 4 cross 4 twiddle matrix then here we supposed to write the input matrix that is x1 of n we have x1 of 0 x1 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 so now let me substitute the values therefore x1 of 0 plus x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 is equal to we have w4 power 0 is w4 power 0 value is plus 1 that is first row is 1 1 1 1 second row values are 1 w4 power 1 its value is minus j w4 power 2 its value is minus 1 w4 power 3 its value is plus j so next we have 1 w4 power 2 its value is minus 1 w4 power 4 is nothing but w4 power 0 its value is plus 1 plus 1 then we have w4 power 6 is minus 1 then we have 1 w4 power 3 is j we have minus 1 w4 power 9 is it is minus j now we have the input values that is 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 
1. Let me simplify this. That is the rows are multiplied with column. So first row and this column values are 1 into 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1. Then second row, this column, that is 1 into 1 is 1 minus 2j minus 3, we have plus j. Then 1 into 1, we have minus 2 plus 3, we have minus 1. Then 1 into 1, 1 plus 2j minus 3, we have minus j. So simplifying this, I can write. We have 2 plus 1, 3, 6 and 7 it is. Here we have 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus j plus j is minus j. Here we have 3 plus 1, 4. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Here it is minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. We have plus j. Now let me calculate DFT of second sequence. That is x2 of n is given as 4, 3, 2, 2. Let me write in matrix form to find DFT. That is x2 of 0, x2 of 1, x2 of 2, x2 of 3. So I will write the total factor matrix directly from this. That is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Next we have 1 minus j minus 1 j. Next row we have 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Next we have 1 j minus 1 minus j. The input sequence is written here that is 4, 3, 2, 2. So let me multiply these two matrices. Row versus column that is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2. Second row column that is 4 minus 3j minus 2 plus 2j. Third row and column that is 4 minus 3 plus 2 minus 2. Fourth row and column that is 4 plus 3j or j3 minus 2 minus 2j. So simply that is it is 11. We have 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 3j plus j is it is minus j. 4 6 minus 3 3 minus 2 is 1. Here it is 4 minus 2 is 2 plus j. Now we will try to find the multiplication between these two DFT that is x1 of k already we have found but that is we have 7 minus 2 minus j then we have 1 minus 2 plus j and x2 of k is we have 11 2 minus j 1 2 plus j so now let me find y of k is equal to x1 of k dot x2 of k which is equal to 11 into 7 is 77 minus 2 minus j and 2 minus j it gives keep calculate in complex mode minus 2 minus j into 2 minus j that is 2 minus j we have minus 5 so its value will be minus 5 into 1 into 1 is 1 minus 2 plus j 2 plus j let's calculate that that is minus 2, minus 2 plus j into we have 2 plus j. So it gives the result minus 5.
So this is y of k. Now we supposed to find id of t of y of k to get y of n. Now let's find id of t of y of k to get y of n. Therefore, y of n is equal to id of t of y of k. Let me solve this using a matrix method again. So first column will be y of 0, y of 1, y of 2 and y of 3. We have 1 over n that is 1 over 4. Let me write the total factor matrix. So in, in, ID of, in ID of T matrix, total factor matrix real values will be same. Complex, uh, the imaginary values will be complex conjugate that is all real values will be same 1 1 1 1 it is 1 1 1 1 plus j is replaced by minus j and minus j is replaced by plus j that is 1 it is plus j we have minus 1 minus j third column will be same third row will be same as values are real that is 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 next it should be 1 minus j 1 minus j minus 1 we have plus j now let me write here y of k values that is 77 minus 5 1 we have minus 5 so let me simplify this that is 77 minus 5 plus 1 minus 5 second row with column sorry here it's supposed to be 1 by 4 that is 77 we have minus 5j we have minus 1 plus 5j third row with column is 77 plus 5 we have plus 1 here it is plus 5 next it will be 77 plus 5j it will be minus 1 here it is minus 5j so therefore I can write it is equal to 1 over 4 77 minus 10 is 67 plus 168 here it is 5j and minus 5j plus 5j get cancelled 77 minus 1 is 76 here it is 87 plus 1 88 here it is 5j minus 5j get cancelled 77 minus 1 is 76 so it is equal to we have 68 by so the final result will be 68 by 4 it gives 17 76 by 4 it gives 19 88 by 4 it gives 22 76 by 4 it gives 19 so therefore the circular convolution between x1 of n and x2 of n is y of n which is equal to 17 19 22 19 thank you for watching